welcome to my channel, Custom Scrapbook Designed by Christy Stubbs. Today, I just thought I would hop on and share with you a little bit of a product haul. So I've got a couple things from a couple different places. And the first one is from My Creative Time. She's an online shop and the gal who owns it, her name is Emma. And I watched her and Jill Norwood um, pretty much like give a daily like sneak peek of her new releases and oh my gosh I fell in love with all of the projects that they put out there so it prompted me of course to buy several items from her so I thought I would hop on today and share those with you so first off Emma herself actually wrote um, a little thank you on my invoice and then I also got this cute little um, witch's hat charm that um, came in this little envelope that says thank you for supporting my small business. So I always love it when um, small businesses, you know, give you a little something extra for supporting them. So that which has had a super cute for the coming up uh, Halloween season. And then I mainly got dies from her. So this is the jingle all the way. And it's a cute little spatula die set with like a little frosting dripping on there. And then there's all kinds of stamps that are a part of that collection as well. So they're all meant to fit right on the spatula. So I thought I'd open those up. So there's actually a stamp of the spatula itself made with love, tis the season, from the kitchen of. Wouldn't the be, these be great through the holiday season to kind of decorate a little spatula and put from the kitchen of and, and sign it for a gift? So I that was kind of my intention with this particular set. I've seen them do tons of stuff with this one and have kind of been eyeing it and finally decided to break down and order it. So the next die that I got was the cute popcorn die. So this adorable little die I got mainly because my grandson's birthday was a uh, movie type theme and they did popcorn and stuff. So for scrapbooking in his book, I wanted to be able to um, make some cute little popcorn boxes and um, just decorate his scrapbook with that. So the next item that I got was the Baking Up Love. So you're gonna kind of see a little bit of a theme here. I'm kind of gearing up for the holiday season and, and I think these are great dyes just to have around all the time. And then there is also a stamp set with that one. You can get them both or separate. But this one, these stamps are meant to fit perfectly on that rolling pin there. And then these smaller stamps fit perfectly in the spoon. And there's this cute little cupcake here, cute little gingerbread um, girl there, and some holly here, and lots of fun little sayings, baking up love, season everything with love, life is short, lick the spoon, um, merry and bright, merry Christmas, gingerbread love, so all kinds of fun things here. So I hope to be bringing you guys a few projects in the near future with some of that. And then, I got another stamp set, and this is Teeny Tag Holidays. So it's happy birthday, no tricks, just treats, treats just for you. Oh, can't get the stamp out of there. Happy fall, happy Thanksgiving to my bunny. So it kind of hits all of the different holidays and I believe she's got a tag die possibly that goes with this but I have a zillion tag dies so I opted just to get the stamp. Um, I may be changing my mind once I get started using this and find that I need it as well but that's what I started with and then I'm not gonna lie I wasn't a hundred percent sold on these gingers so this is the sweet gingerbread person die, and then this is the little ginger boy and girl dies. As you can see, they're a lot smaller. I've seen them do lots of projects with them, and 
I don't know. I what like I said, I wasn't necessarily a hundred percent sold on them. And then this last release sold me. And the reason for that is because she came out with the cutest turkey. I love fall. So this larger one here is meant to be used with the sweet gingerbread person. And then the smaller one here goes with the ginger boy and girl die here. So the ginger boy and girl do come with a few little extra accessories as well as the sweet gingerbread person. We've got the fun candy cane and um, like the peppermint candy. So there is lots of fun little extras there. So I decided maybe I needed to jump on the bandwagon and try this. The turkeys are what got me. I don't know if it was Emma or if it was, um, I think it was Emma that did the little turkeys. Either that or it was Jill Norwood who did the cutest little turkey place settings. So I kind of wanted to do that for Thanksgiving this year was make my own little settings. So the I Love Fall did come with its own little um, stamp set as well. And then these also go back to fitting on the spatula and then the rolling pin and spoon die as well. So really has got a lot of use here. We've got Happy Thanksgiving, Happy Harvest, Hello Pumpkin, Autumn Greetings, Fall Sweet Fall. So I honestly cannot wait to use these um, and build some place settings for Thanksgiving. I think that's going to be a lot of fun. I hope you're not getting too much glare and you're actually able to see all of this uh, wonderful stuff. And then one of the other things that I did get from her is the small and medium ginger faces. So these, I don't know if you can see those real well. These are um, meant for the ginger dyes to give them some faces. And so I thought those were super fun. So we've also got a little spider here and like some Frankenstein type um, screws and then some patches and spider webs here. So, but super fun. And last but not least, I did get a, oh, let's see, uh, edged, etched edge Z card die. So I saw, I want to say Emma did a sample with this and I always thought, oh, I could just fold it and make it and you know, all that good stuff. But it's got such cute little edging and everything's already all precise. So I'm anxious to try this too for maybe some fall cards. Then the next share that I've got for you guys is actually Stamps of Life. So I joined their subscription service and this was this month's and it is Happy Santa to Stamp. So there's a cute Santa sending Christmas cheer your way, a fun tree, all kinds of uh, Christmas wishes, and then matching dies to go with it as well. And one of the things I like about it is that they do send you this little postcard with some ideas on it. So I love that. I don't use stamps a lot and I'm really hoping that maybe I start. So <laughs> we'll see, maybe this channel will motivate me to do that. And then I did get a little free one and it, um, let's see, it says, wow. So that would be fun. And you could always cut the exclamation point off and it could be mom. So either way. And now last but not least is my Kiwi Lane. I subscribe to Kiwi, Kiwi Lane and have forever. And then I stopped the subscription here not too long ago because I felt like I was getting so much stuff and I found I really missed it. So maybe in the near future, I will do a couple layouts utilizing their kit. And I'll explain that more when I do that rather than in this particular share. But in these kits, you do get um, a bunch of paper, you get some... Uh, journaling cards and mats, and then you also get these templates that you trace and design. So like I said, coming up, I'll maybe um, go more into depth in this particular kit, but it's a lot of fun as well. So thanks so much for sticking um, with me and kind of seeing all of my different product hauls that I've gotten recently. 
And you guys may need to hold my toes to the fire to use some of this stuff now. So a lot of it's a little bit out of my comfort zone, but I'm, I'm really hoping to use it soon. So thanks for watching, guys. Happy scrapping. Bye for now.